Hello, I am Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. In the last lecture, we learned what is a half adder and how we can implement a half adder using XOR and AND gate. And we also learned about the logical expressions and we derived the logical expression from the truth table also. Now in this video, we will learn how we can create a half adder by using only NAND gates. We will not use other gates in this. We will not use AND gate nor we will use the XOR gate. Only the NAND gates will be used. Here you can see in this diagram also that uh, minimum 5 NAND gates are required to implement a half adder okay this is the minimum number okay so keep it in mind that five gates are minimum gates NAND gates that are required to implement a half adder and we will also see uh, in the next video how we can create half adder using NOR gates only and five NOR gates are required let me tell you for your information that um, five NOR gates are required to completely create it with only NOR gates okay so let's uh, begin our lecture so here we have uh, implemented this half adder using NAND gates and uh, we will derive here how how it is uh, getting the output as uh, the uh, output of the half adder how we will get the sum as a x or b here and carry as a into b here and now see this is uh, actually the NAND gate representation of half adder just watch it carefully and uh, try to remember it and let's see how it has produced a x or b as sum and a into b as carry here okay step by step here we have used these five adder five nand gates one two three four and five and in the previous uh, video we have seen that uh, we can produce the half adder using xor and uh, end gate this was the diagram this we have seen it in earlier uh, video that these are the two inputs a and b and this x or a x or b is the sum and a into b is the carry now we are not using this x or an end gate we are only using the nand gate here so let's see it here we have used uh, two inputs this is the two input uh, nand gate and its output as we know that nand means not end so this is the a into b and bar over it okay complement of it so this is a nand b okay a into b and this bar now this output of this nand gate goes into one input of this nand gate and another input of this nand gate so at the output of this nand gate i get since its inputs are a into b bar and uh, this is the a from here so i get nand of these two inputs so this is nand nand means uh, just uh, end it and uh, uh, place a bar over it complement it so a b bar and a are nanded here okay multiply them and put a bar and in the same way here these two inputs of this nand gate are this is the b input and uh, this is the output a a b bar so if we nand it then we will get this a b bar into b whole bar okay whole complement uh, these are the inputs to this um, NAND gate these are acting as inputs these two outputs are acting as input to this uh, NAND gate and in the output we are getting a x or b so here we will see the calculation of how we will NAND these two we will NAND this part and this part okay these two inputs and we will get a x or b a bar b plus a b bar which is a x or b so how we can produce it let's see it after this we will see the scary part since this sum is nothing but the nand of these two these two terms are nanded here this is the first term okay this part this in a small bracket and this is the second term and they are nanded uh, they are end ended and then placing a bar over it so this is a nand so this expression this sum has been written again at this place for solving and by using the de morgan's law we know that by de morgan's law if we complement uh, some boolean uh, expression this expression then everything will be complemented if you see this <coughs> okay let me this is not clear very clear uh, focus on this part if you are going to solve this then just focus here that this this bar okay this bar 
and this bar since we know that if we uh, complement twice uh, any uh, boolean expression then we will get the same expression if we do a bar of a bar if we uh, write here like a bar and a bar bar of a bar that is double complement then we will get a it means that this complement will be cancelled out by this if it is for example if it is 0 and we complement it then we will get 1 and we again complement it then we will get 0 so this is nothing but a so from here to here from here to here and from here to here we will see that these two bars will be cancelled out so we will get in result only the a b bar into a and in the same way from here to here this complement and this complement will cancel out each other so we will get a b bar into a and here we will get a b bar into b this two bars have been removed by double complementing so here we will get, get a b bar into a and focus on this this dot this um, uh, end uh, operation has been complemented to plus so everything will be complemented from here to here so this has been removed uh, from bar to bar cancelled out and this dot this end gate has been converted into plus this has been complemented so we get here a b bar into a plus a b bar into b now if you take a b bar as common we will uh, get a a b bar this is has been taken out and a plus b in this and this is um, uh, what this if we again use the de morgan's law complement each thing this is what this is a into b bar so complement everything complement uh, here if we complement it then we get a bar this dot this uh, multiplication this end converts to plus so it is a bar plus b bar so it is a bar plus b bar and here the brackets a plus b we have already and if we multiply them okay if we solve this expression we get if we multiply this a bar with these a plus b and this b bar as uh, with a plus b so a bar into a okay this is a bar into a the plus a bar into b then b with these two b bar into a and b bar into b okay and we know that a into a bar is nothing but zero if we multiply a logical expression with its uh, complement then we get zero so since it is, if it is for example if it is one then its complement is zero so one into zero is always these are two opposite uh, uh, digits binary digits so we get its multiplication as zero so a into a bar is zero similarly b into b bar is zero and here we get uh, the remaining thing a bar b plus a b bar and we know that a bar b plus a b bar is nothing but a x or b so we get a x or b as the output okay so this is the sum part and now let's uh, see this part this is the carry part and we can see here that this is the a in a bar a into b bar this is an end of a and b and this is acting as the input this is has been uh, applied to both of its input of this NAND gate so if we NAND these two terms this is the first input is a b bar and second input is also a b bar if we NAND these things then we get this if you solve it you will get a b bar NAND a b bar okay just uh, multiply and just end them and put a complement okay so since we know that if we multiply two binary digits uh, same binary digits then we get the same output i mean if we uh, multiply a into a then we get a either uh, if we um, multiply b into b then we get b so here we have multiplied a b bar and a b bar so in the output we get a b bar only and this is the bar over it so bar of a b bar and uh, we know that uh, if we complement the some same thing uh, twice then it cancels out a b bar if a into b is bar twice if it is complemented twice then we get a into b as carry so this is nothing but the output second output there's a carry part of this half adder so here we have uh, seen how we can represent the half adder using nand gates we have used here one two three four five five nand gates to represent it completely so i think you liked it so click on the like button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy thanks for watching have a nice day
friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye